if Biden remains a nominee, I think the left is going to defend him somehow. So how do they do that, considering Americans have seen with their own eyes the truth of where Biden's mental state lies? I think in Biden's White House, the smarter staffers are looking now to probably escape and cash out for for a job on MSNBC or CNN. Um, the <laughs> ones who are who are low IQ, which is a, a large percentage of them, uh, are, might stay in and, and try to cover up, continue to cover up for Joe Biden. I think it'll depend on how stubborn a guy he is. And Joe Biden is a stubborn man. You know, you know, you don't get to his position uh, being 50 years in the Washington D.C. swamp. And he's really the personification of everything Americans hate about D.C. The, he truly is an establishment politician through and through, as corrupt as they come. And I don't see him willingly surrendering the reins of pow power. Now, all that sh might change. He might be convinced otherwise. People might um, give him an offer he can't refuse, so to speak, and 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 be forced out of that office. But Again, I think logistically and constitutionally, it's it's it'll be much more difficult, especially given the timeline now. You know, we're already almost in July. The Republican National Convention is this month. Obviously, the DNC is uh, in August, so they have a little bit more time. But, you know, Kamala Harris, who would be next in line for the presidency if Biden were um, removed by the 25th Amendment or some other provision, um, you know, has lower approval ratings than Joe Biden. I think Democrats, even though they would like someone to replace him, like who would they pick? Like realistically, I mean, people have been talking about Michelle Obama, um, potentially Hillary Clinton. I know she's trying to get back into the ring um, and have another go around against uh, Donald Trump. But really, like no one um, commands any sort of unity within the party obviously gavin newsom was there too and he's always trying to jump in as well but i don't see anyone in the democratic circles who would be able to um actually meet biden's level of popularity among the democratic party base now all that could change we we don't know what might happen but you know i think he's a stubborn man i think he's going to try to hold on to the to, to the power that he has um you know going through november